Hello everybody, Little Sinner here, and I am back with a brand new speed build. Um, this is a beautiful home. It's more like a um, like a modern farmhouse, ranch house type of thing. Um, I built it on this corner lot. Um, well, technically it's not really a corner lot, but it's the last lot in this little um, this little strip of houses here. And I wanted to build this house in like a woody, more of a woody type area. Um, but yeah, how is everybody? I made a new I made a new intro for my YouTube channel. I did it all by myself. I'm very, very excited. My old one was just getting a little too repetitive, if you know what I mean. And the quality of it wasn't very that wasn't <laughs> I can't talk. Wasn't really that good. Um, but Pretty much everything like that I did with this house, I got a picture off of um, a house plans site. And I just want to say that pretty much the whole thing, I went off of like the picture. Like even like the, the layout downstairs. Um, the layout upstairs is, is it's very big. Um, there is three bedrooms and three bathrooms. All of the bedrooms are on the second floor. And then um there's two bedroom or there's two bathrooms on the second floor. And there's one bathroom on the main floor. Um and as you can see that this house doesn't have a foundation. I think this might be my first house that I've built on camera without a foundation. And I wasn't too sure how it was going to turn out, but I have to say I'm very, very pleased with it. It looks so good, this house. Um, the picture, it looked like there was a little tiny foundation, but um, unlike The Sims 3, you can't make stairs tiny in The Sims 3. I don't think you can. If you, if you can, let me know. Um, but I did tweak it a little bit, like... Um, in the original picture, there's not a pop-out in the back, and I put a pop-out there. And um, also in the back, the garage goes all the way back to the back of the house. And I just thought it was too much going on. So I just, I pushed up the garage a little bit. Um, but how is everyone? I, I built this house, like, literally an hour or two ago. It took me maybe like two hours, like two and a half hours to build. And I am very, very happy with how it came out. I've never built a house that looked, this is probably like my favorite house that I've ever built. Um, and I know I said that about my Christmas home and I do really, I still really love my, my Christmas home, but this one just, it came out so pretty and I'm just so pleased with myself, but I finally got a Sims file share account, and so this house will be available to download on Sims file share, and that's where I'm going to be uploading all of my houses from now on, um, so that's very exciting, and I made, so like while I'm watching this, we are inside and we are doing the layout and stuff, um, the little corner that's like in the front there um they, that's an office and then the bathroom is and it's just it's, it's just a half bath um but yeah i always say that you know you guys can you know do up the the bathrooms and the bedrooms however you want i did do the master bathroom or the master bedroom that's the only Thing upstairs that I decorated um, but I furnished everything downstairs um, so yeah this it was so there was a couple of things upstairs that um, that wouldn't work in the sims like walk-in closets are useless so I just made the walk-in closet area a hallway that little hallway right there that pops out um, but yeah, what, what else can I talk about? If it sounds like I'm being quiet or whispering, it's because my boyfriend's asleep. Um, 
so I like our bedroom door is closed and everything but I just want to I don't want to talk very loud um, when I'm editing I'll probably turn up the volume of my voice just so you guys can hear me okay um but yeah this house is called what did I call this house white bank so original so how usually how I name my my houses is I have a I have a tab bookmarked on my computer on my Chrome. Um, it's basically a house name generator, <laughs> and it'll like it asks you questions like, "What can you see um, from the house?" or "What kind of flowers are around the house?" and so and you know silly stuff like that. Um, and then you put in the answers, and then it gives you a list of um, you know, a list of names to choose from. And so I seen White Bank and I was like, you know what, that's a pretty, that's a pretty good one. <laughs> um, but yeah, I am super duper pleased with how this turned out. Um, the roof gave me a little bit of an issue. There is a front part, um, where those three windows are. Um, the very top floor is a little bit taller in the picture than the rest of the upstairs. And so I had a really hard time. Like, I like I can do that just fine. Um, it's just a constrained floor elevation um, trick. You guys don't know it. Um, but I was having... Like, I did that fine, and then I um, had to quit my game for a little bit and I came back and the elevation was just really wonky like everything was just messed up and so I think I finally figured it out um and I tested it a few times so you guys shouldn't have an issue if you download this house um but yeah if you download this house I used some cc uh so if you guys download this house you should get all the custom content that comes with it. If you don't, or if you don't know how to download houses, I will leave a link in my description to my video. Um, the, it's, it's, a, it's a tutorial that I made a year or so ago about how to install custom content. And in that video, I explain how to install houses and all the steps you need to take in order to get all the CC that comes in this house. So, I will leave that in the link or in the description below. I said I was going to do that the last video that I did, but I never did. <laughs> um, yeah, I was looking for another um, house to renovate in Appaloosa Plains, and I have a couple of ideas. I have a couple of ones that I... Um, have an idea about. My whole thing is I don't want to change the shape of the house too much unless I absolutely need to. And there's a few of them that really need it and it's going to take a little bit. Um, so the next part of that, of the renovation series, it'll come. It's just, I, I just really wanted to do a speed build. <laughs> I, I just wanted to build a house from scratch. And I found this house on I think I already said it before, but I found this house on a, a, a plan of an e plans site, and yeah, I think we're decorating now. And in the pictures that I had of the layout, of it was like a blueprint type of thing, and um, it had um where the furniture like should be. Like the best place for the furniture and I've never like paid attention to that because whenever I sometimes when I build houses I go off of like a picture or like a, like, a, like a plan and most um, blueprints of like the layouts and stuff of houses they usually have like where the furniture should sit if you like build the house or if you like you know what I mean and I never really paid attention to it until now. <laughs> and 
there's a lot of, um, it's very modern inside. I know on the outside, there's, um, it looks very farmhousey, and on the inside, it's a very modern farmhouse. Mo it's like a modern farmhouse. Oh, excuse me. Um, but yeah, I'm so, so happy with how this turned out. Um, but let me know how you guys are doing. Um, oh yeah, okay, so we're in the kitchen right now. And I've never done this that I'm about to do where I made, I made an island. But I made it, um, to where they didn't snap to the grid. And so I could put it like that, you know, yeah, like that. So I could make the, yeah, like, it's, a, it's a, like a really pretty island type of thing. <laughs> um, yeah, I used all the stuff from late night throughout the house. <laughs> um, everything in the kitchen is late night, pretty much. Um, and everything in the bathroom is, everything in the bathroom downstairs is late night. I used a lot of late night stuff. Um, because late night is very modern and, you know what I mean. Um, one of these days I really want to do, like, a full-on modern home. Like, not a farmhouse. Because that's kind of like my comfort zone, is traditional houses. And I'm not really... I've never really delved into, you know, building a house like that. Um, but I feel like I'd be okay at it. Um, I keep <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I keep saying, um, it's about three or it's like, it's four in the morning here. Um, I'm a night owl, I can't help it. Um, but I think after I do this voiceover, I'm gonna finish the editing of it and I'm gonna upload it like tonight like I, like after I'm done with this I don't really have a schedule on uploading videos I just I upload videos whenever I want to um, and maybe I should make a schedule because maybe that's why um, my videos are so like sporadic and they don't really have um, a schedule or anything. I've said schedule about 50 million times. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, I'll try to put, if I remember to, I might not remember to, I'll try to put like some music maybe. Um, oh, and then the kitchen, I had um, the idea to put like, like a wall that had um, like rock and stone and stuff. And I, I, I don't think I've ever done anything like that before and um notice how we just put down a uh a high chair i forgot to color it until i was already done recording so if you download this house the that high chair will be colored it'll be i changed the color of it as soon as i stopped recording and i feel so stupid but i am I'm so happy to be uploading again, and I don't think I'm going to leave again for a long while, I, especially now that my game is running so much better. I downloaded, so, okay, so my, my videos before, when, whenever I used OBS, because that's what I used to, video, to record my video, um, if I'm in full screen mode in, this, in the game, it darkens it. And I have been pulling my hair out for years trying to figure out how to fix it. And it wasn't until a couple days ago that, or it was before my last video, I found a mod. I can't remember exactly what it's called. But it basically makes your game run a lot smoother. And it gives you the option to run the, the, um, the game in borderless. And OBS only darkens the video if you're in full screen mode in The Sims 3. And the only way, the only other option for resolution in this game is full screen and windowed. And I hate windowed mode. I love borderless, I love borderless mode. 
I play all my games on Borderless. Um, if they have it anyway. So yeah, if you guys are having issues, if you guys all, if any of you guys also use OBS to record gameplay or anything in this game, um, I'll leave a, I'll try to remember to leave a link to the video that, the video tutorial that I've seen, um, like explaining how to install it and stuff, and their video will have like links to it. Like I said, I don't remember exactly what the what it is, but the main function of it is to make your game run smoother. Um, it basically makes your computer use its full like power to play the game and it makes it run a lot smoother. So we are almost to the end of this video, so I think I'm going to leave you guys here with some music and comment and subscribe if you're new and the download to the house will be in the description below and i will see you guys in my next one